Hi, kindergarten. I am going to read you this story that has very beautiful illustrations, but it's also a very big book, and so I kind of am having to hold it a little bit weird um, on my lap. <laughs> um, so, here is the story. It's, call it's called The Ugly Duckling. It's illustrated by Polana Loveson. And I think it doesn't have an author because it's a traditional tale. We've talked about those before, those stories that get passed down for a really long time. And sometimes there's different versions of them. Um, but they're, they're a fantasy story that is a traditional tale that goes on and on. And they usually have a lesson at the end. So see if you can try to pick out what the lesson is at the end of the story. Sorry if there's strange shadows. It's really hard to show you the whole book in my camera. The Ugly Duckling. <clears throat> there's our title page. Oh, and it does have a retold by Sarah Delmege in on the title page. So she's just doing her own version of the story. It was a warm summer's day, and Mommy Duck wriggled excitedly on her nest. She could hear a tapping noise. Tap, 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 tap. Quick, quack, quick. Mommy Duck called to the other ducks. My eggs are hatching. Come and see. She's very excited. And all her friends to come. One by one, the eggs hatched and out pumped popped six chirpy little ducklings. Cheep, 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 cheep. Ah, the other duck sighed. What sweet little ducklings. Mommy duck beamed with pride. But the biggest egg of all still hadn't opened. Mommy duck was sure she had only laid six eggs. How many ducklings? One, two, three, four, five, six, and a really big egg left there still. Hmm. Crack! Just then, the final egg burst open. Oh, gasped Mommy Duck. The last duckling wasn't little, yellow, or cute. He was enormous, gray, and, well, ugly. What an ugly duckling, quacked an old duck. He's not ugly, said Mommy Duck protectively. He's special. It's not a very kind thing to say, is it? I don't think he's very ugly. He just looks different than the others. The next day... Mommy Duck took all her little ducks to the farmyard to meet the other animals. The six yellow ducklings proudly puffed out their pretty feathers. Ah, oh, sighed the animals, what lovely ducklings. The ugly duckling waddled forward. Hello, he said quietly. Everyone turned to stare at him. There he is saying hello. They say, he's so gray, neighed the horse. He's so clumsy, mooed the cow. He's so big, squawked the hen. Poor ugly duckling. Oh, it's so sad. Large teardrops rolled down the ugly duckling's long black beak. He felt all alone. Nobody wants me, he whispered. I'd be better off swimming away. The poor little duckling waddled sadly across the meadow, leaving the farm and his family far behind him. There's his family over there.
Soon, the ugly duckling came to a river, where some geese were diving for food. Excuse me, the ugly duck duckling began bravely. Have you seen any ducklings like me? No, you're the strangest looking duckling we've ever seen, the, goose, the geese honked. <laughs> There's some diving geese there. So the ugly duckling kept waddling. He was getting very tired. As darkness fell, he crept inside an old barn looking for a place to rest. May I stay here? he asked the animals inside. Can you lay eggs? clucked the hen. No, said the ugly duckling sadly. Can you catch mice? purred a cat. I don't think so, said the ugly duckling. Then you're no use here, the cat hissed. What's he doing? Hmm. The ugly duckling quickly waddled away. He kept going until he came to a large lake. If nobody wants me, then I'll just hide here forever, he sniffed sadly. <laughs> Ribbit, croaked a frog. What a funny looking duckling. There's the frog. Fall came and the leaves turned gold. One evening, just as the sun was setting, the ugly duckling saw a flock of beautiful white birds flying gracefully across the sky. I wish I looked like them, he sighed. <sighs> All through the long winter, the ugly duckling hid in the reeds, ashamed to show his face. When the first rays of warm spring sunshine arrived, the ugly duckling peered out of his hiding place. A graceful swan paddled by him, and he backed away, afraid he would be teased. <gasps> but to the ugly duckling's surprise, the swan swam up to him. Why are you hiding here? asked the swan kindly. Join the rest of us. The ugly duckling was shocked. Surely the swan must be talking to someone else. But then he caught sight of his reflection in the lake. He stared and gasped <gasps> in amazement. His gray feathers were now snowy white. I'm a swan, the ugly duckling cried happily. Just then, a family of six young ducks waddled along the riverbank with their mother. Look at that beautiful swan, they quacked. Mommy Duck recognized her little ugly duckling at once. I always knew he was special, she quacked. The ugly duff duckling ruffled his beautiful white feathers and turned away and proudly paddled after his new friend. The... And so what do you think the lesson was in that story? I think there's lots of different lessons. We could have a lesson of just because somebody is different doesn't make them bad or diff or ugly. Um, we could have the lesson of you should be kind to everyone because you never really know what's going on with them. Um, there's lots of different lessons and everyone has their place in the world. I hope you have a great day.